I'm Richie Castellano, this is my studio, and I want to talk about a new toy that I got. This is the Line 6 Helix Rack. Now, some of you may have seen my previous videos where I talk about the Line 6 Helix floor pedal version, and you can see one of those right here. Uh, but this is the rack. Now, a few of my friends have been asking me, why did you switch? You know, why'd you get rid of the floor unit? I didn't get rid of it, I got both. And that might seem like overkill, but now that I have both of them, it's awesome because the floor unit stays out on the road with Blue Oyster Cult's gear where we play a lot of gigs and it was getting sort of crazy bringing the Helix back and forth to do BOC gigs and I had to bring it home with me, set it up for um, studio sessions or I do a podcast called Band Geek, which you can also see here. And for Band Geek, I have to do heavy programming to this thing because we do different cover songs and I try to nail the sounds as closely as possible on this thing. So it's very useful for me to have it in the rack here and there are some other benefits too. Um, with this I also got the foot controller which works exactly like the regular pedal. It has the capacitive touch and everything and the coolest thing was that I was able to easily transfer my sounds from the pedal to this. I just saved them as a bundle and all the sounds popped up here. The only thing that was a little tricky was the impulse responses just because I have a lot on there and to be honest I have a lot that I don't even use. I probably use three or four impulse responses so the fact that I have like 70 on there is ridiculous but anyway it was fairly simple to get my sounds from the floor pedal onto the rack unit. I have the Variax always hooked up via Ethernet on the back and here's a sound I'm working on. Let me show you this. Another great thing is that I always have this hooked up via USB. So it's not like with the with the floor pedal it was sort of a hassle to keep having to hook up like you know 10 cables to the unit every time I wanted to bring it in here. So now it's just I have everything hooked up and snaked into the patch bay and hooked up to the computer via USB and it's really simple and just works great. So here's a sound I made called matchless loop and it's a really nice sound. And I'm using the matchstick here. I really like this amp. Uh, but something that's really awesome about this is I have an effects loop. And my effects loop, if I can bring you back here, is all the loops, I have all four loops on the Helix normaled into my patch bay down there. And what that means is without having to hook up any cables, the sends and returns are going to various units that I have in my studio here. So for example, let me pull this out. This is a JHS Andy Timmons pedal that I have also hooked up into my patch bay. So now, if I go back here, and I just turn this loop on, now I'm using this pedal. And I can tweak the pedal from here. Bring some of the gain down. turn it off from here, or actually even better, I could turn it off from here. Now, I know a lot of Helix users already do this, but the idea that I have it hooked up and normaled into the patch bay is awesome. And here are some of the other uh, pedals I have normaled into here. I'll, you know, I'll get rid of this EQ and I'll add another. I know that in my second effects loop, I have a chorus pedal. This is the TC Electronic John Petrucci Dreamscape pedal. In the third slot, I'll just take this Y out for now, um, I have a compressor the DBX-163 compressor, which I really like. So check this out. I'll go to this camera so you can see. If I go here to the actual unit, I go to global settings, I go to in and out, 
and I go to send returns, if you'll notice this one, uh, send return three is set to line. I know that I have two stomp boxes in uh, effects loop one and two, so those are set to instrument, and I have a studio, a piece of studio gear here, so that's set to line, and that's really handy. You know, if you have a setup that doesn't change, I can keep this like that all the time. So now going back here, here's my compressor. <laughs> Just having everything set up here is awesome and this works exactly the same and another cool thing is this is on Ethernet. So say for example I'm playing guitar at the other end of my studio or I have another guitar player and I'm over here playing bass or something or playing keyboard, all I have to do is take this out and put it wherever the guitar player is. And uh, this is just an Ethernet cable, just a Cat5 Ethernet cable that connects to the unit. And this can really go anywhere in my studio, and I can keep this here. I can keep an eye on the presets and, and change things if I need to while we're recording, and that's really, really useful. It has all your expression pedal inputs there, if you can see that. So for my expression pedal, I'm just using a regular Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. And to do that, you just take the volume pedal output and plug it into here. So that's really it. Let me uh, plug in another guitar. So here's a, an Ernie Ball Luke 3. That's it, I'm in. <laughs> So when you use this, there's also a buffered quarter inch output that I also have normaled. I have almost every cable in the back there snaked into my patch bay. So I have that normaled onto a Pro Tools input. So when I record the Helix, I record left and right out and that DI out or the buffered output. So I always have um, DI'd straight direct signal from here going into Pro Tools. That, the only thing, my only gripe is it doesn't work with the Variax. With the Variax, it doesn't give you that same thing because I think it's essentially, that's just a quarter inch pass through. But that's really, really useful, especially when you're just, say for example, monitoring with the Helix and you just want to have, have a little something and then you can always change it back later or run it through the Helix or when the native plugin comes out, you can do it that way. So like I said, my friends online were asking me, hey, why'd you ditch the floor unit to get the rack unit? I didn't ditch anything. Floor unit now lives with Blue Oyster Cult gear, that's for that. And the rack unit is here in the studio. And it might be excessive, but it's awesome and I love it. I love that this is just hooked up to all my gear. I have every input and output patched into my patch bay. Everything's normaled into the pedals, into my recording stuff. It's, it's amazing. So this is awesome. I highly recommend it. If you haven't checked out a Line 6 Helix, you should do it. It's a game changer for me. Totally changed my workflow and the way I do things. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Leave comments, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and let's talk about it. If you have any questions, I love talking to you guys about this, and it's how I learn stuff, and it's great. The, the uh, Helix community and the Variax community, everybody's super nice and willing to share knowledge, and that's really important. we got to keep this thing going and, and learn from each other, so... Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching this video. To see even more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to interact with me on social media, please follow my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. If you like podcasts, check out my show Band Geek on the Riotcast Network. For tour dates and even more info, go to richiecastellano.com. Now, here's a video I picked just for you. I think you'll like it. Go ahead, click it. It's good. Eh? Huh?